It's Friday the 28th of July 2017 and that could mean one thing and one thing only. It's time for today's um, Jenny Home. <laughs> I just get just get it wrong every time. <laughs> it's time for today's Jenny Home and Biscuit Reviews with me, your host, Edward C. Lewis. We're in the pub. <laughs> That's what we do. We're in the pub. Me and me mate, Tane Piper. Hello. This is Tane Piper, everybody. Uh, Tane Piper of uh, Titus Balls fame, perhaps. Yes. I know that you've talked about this already to me earlier on in the day, but you regret that name. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> but it's stuck. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Fa- fantastic. Yeah, of course, the special of the day. Got the special of the day up behind me. Um, uh, that was actually Tane's choice for the special of the day. Are you excited about the Lady Doctor? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Good. What I like about it is the rage and the anger that <laughs> yeah, I saw on the internet yeah. about it, which is, which is probably my favourite yeah. thing. You look nothing like your avatar, apparently. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, I definitely don't have a scar, that's one thing. Okay, we can, we, can make, we, can make, we can make that happen by the end of the stream if you like. The, the, the biscuits gets a little bit heated, a yes. little bit excitable. I've not really had anyone in the pub with me, um, but there you go. So hello everybody. Hi, I'm your sister's game, Marky, Orange Spark, XLD47, Jack Din, Bob Mark Gaming, Commander Ben, Greg Michael William. All of you lovely people. And Alex John Turner as well, hello. So, Tane, you came here today. Yes. All the way from the Netherlands. I did. Did you... Um, have you? Did you expect to be doing a biscuit review today, or coming as part of the biscuit quiz? Um, no. I mean, I brought biscuits, but you I didn't expect biscuits, to be part of the biscuit review, which we've got for later, and they're yeah. very special. Mm-hmm. And I'm on the fence as to whether they're bannable or not, as to whether they yeah. should be. I mean, I mean, it's, it's not quite strip waffle is a waffle issue. It's there's there's a. Well, strip waffle is a, is a waffle, isn't My dad looks confused, I can see, because we can see him on screen already. It, it, it's more that we're... You can't, you can't call a waffle a biscuit, because mm-hmm. it's not it's a waffle. This is kind of wafery, but that's... We'll Wafer find out. Biscuit. We'll find out. We'll find out what the uh, rest of the community think. Um, but yeah, it's quite the journey to make, but you're also coming to... Uh, as you mind me telling people what you're doing here? No. You're doing your driving test for the fourth time. Yes, I am on Monday, um, and I just, you know, uh, happen to be in the area because I'm coming from the Netherlands, and I was invited to come, come along, come along, and say hello, and yeah. Did you, have you had a nice day? I have had a lovely day. That's very nice. nice. You got your, you got this assigned copy of the game from David. Yes, he was in his office. He was. He was wearing blue jeans. He was. And brown loafers. Yes. And a moccasin. Possibly. No, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> Big antler antlers on. Oh yeah, he's wearing yeah, his exactly, antlers. Yeah. He sits, yeah. sits wearing his antlers, uh, which was which was good. I thought a uh, waffle is not a biscuit. Uh, but thank you everybody for coming along today. Uh, today, of course, is a uh, Friday, and that means it's Biz Quiz Day. We will be doing a biscuit review at quarter to the hour, so in about wow, already 35 minutes time. Yeah. Time flies. Um, time flies when you're having fun. Now, luckily I'm on this side, so if we could both uh, sit in our electronic chairs and activate the electronic chairs. Uh, uh, are you ready? Ooh, the elevator music's quite loud. I'll turn that down. Sorry. I didn't realise how loud the elevator music was. Sorry. And then we can... Um, are you ready? And... Oh, wrong way. And then I can... I need to be in the shop. I'm oh, sorry, this way. And then I'll... And then... Yeah, and then um, I'll turn the sound on. I think this one was the sound. It usually is. Uh, oh, uh, hello. Hello, how are you? Oh, there, there you go. We've got audio. Very, very well, thank you. And then we did the little knob here as well. Turn that one on. And yeah, there he is. Yay. We've got him. Okay, back on the on the controls. I can tell you folks the level of professionalism here. What drink would you like? Um, I'll have a gin. A gin? Peter! Have we got any gin? We haven't got any gin. I would just have a cup of tea then. Peter! He's a, yeah, he said, said it's fine. Okay. He makes, fine. he makes a rubbish cuppa though. He, is he one of these people who puts too much milk in? What he does is, he puts the milk in about halfway up and then he puts, then he puts 
the tea bag into the milk, stirs it around with um, the end of a pen, not even a teaspoon, stirs it around with that. Then he boils the water. So not all, so not only that, he br he brews, he tries to brew it in the cold milk. Then he, <laughs> this is apparently is the way the Scottish do it. No, I don't know, Peter. What? No. And then and then he pours and then he gets the <laughs> the kettle on. Then he pours the kettle, pours that into a separate mug, um, and then just knocks them together until <laughs> enough spills over into the other, and then eventually you've got yourself a cup of tea. Wow. Um, all right, so apparently you're clever. Is this right? Uh, Shan says that you guys were in trouble in the quiz here today because you're clever. Uh, I, I wouldn't say clever. I, I would say I'm not too bad at pub quizzes. You're not too bad at pub quizzes? Yeah. Okay. Uh, as long as it's not sport. No. What is today's <laughs> quiz all about, WNL? Sorry, I just realised we've ignored you. How are you? I, I'm fine. Yourself? <laughs> yeah, very well. What drink would you like? What drink would I like? I, I, uh, I don't know. One of those strange milk concoctions with a pen, you know, instead of a plate you just described. That, that would it's, be nice. Yeah. You, okay. Hopefully you won't get sort of ink poisoning. I don't think that's a thing. Is that a thing? Yeah, I want. Mm, I, I want. I want. Today's quiz is all about ice cream, and I once did think, well, come on, have a Coke float. Why not a Guinness float? And I tried it. I put some vanilla ice cream into a pint of Guinness, and it was a one-off. I don't think I'll ever try that again. No, so it wasn't very good. The Guinness float was a failed experiment, but somebody has to try it. So thank you. God bless you, sir, for trying that out for us. Uh, performing a, uh, a a task. For society at large. So, um, Bad Cat Willem says, I was always told that drawn on biro tattoos caused ink poisoning. I remember that as a child, as a child being told that, that as well. Just, I think that was yeah. just the adults, the boring adults, trying to stop you from writing yeah. on your own skin all the time. But then we're also told lead pencils were poisonous. But, but they, they may have been back in the past at one point, weren't they? Lead they weren't poisoning lead. was a real thing. Well, but it wasn't real lead, it was, was it? Yeah, it's graphic. Um, so. Those crafty teachers. Yeah. Always trying to. Um, trick you into mm -hmm. learning. Brenda! <laughs> Bren Brenda! <laughs> she was a teacher. Yeah. She was um, a French teacher, uh, substitute teacher. No one liked her. So, uh, you've got, you've got um, <laughs> right, no, she's lovely, really. Uh, right, how many people do we have here? What is the quiz all about today? It's all about ice cream. I mean, uh, the chat stream decided a couple of weeks ago that it was going to be ice cream today, so ice cream it is. Okay, fantastic. Ice cream, and that was based on, the, uh, if you weren't here last time, um, my dad is, uh, or took part in a world record breaking attempt at eating ice cream once back when he was 20... Yeah, 21, yeah. 21. He used what? to tell me that story when I was younger, and I thought I would never be I'll never be as old as my dad. <laughs> well, as long as I stay alive, you won't, yeah. Okay, that makes sense, right? Uh, yeah. okay. No, because I will be as old as you have been at this point. Yes. I hope so. What do you think What do you think the world's going to be like when I'm 60? Um, well, probably dead. The world will be, die before we will. <laughs> Climate. That's a nice, that's a nice light. <laughs> Welcome thing for to the Friday yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the live stream. You're going to die in the next year. He, he who has been so <laughs> positive has just announced that the world is going to end in the next thirty years. WNL, what's happened there? Oh, I don't know. A little bit like, of pessimism crept in. Yeah. 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 Oh, geez. All right. So let's let's um, move on quickly. We've got about fifty people here in the chat. So it's fifty people versus Tane and I. Tane will be joining my quiz team today. Yes. Do you feel confident that we can beat fifty people? I th think so. I think we're definitely going to beat fifty people. Yeah. What are the rules of the quiz? WNL. The rules. As far as the well, the rules are, are quite basic. Number one, no cheating. Um, Edward, you will get rid of the chat stream as far as you two. You will be able to see it. Mm -hmm. uh, I will be able to see it. I'll take their first three answers and take consensus. If there is no consensus, then I'll just do the first answer of the three. Okay? And then once I have their answer, I'll ask you guys for yours. You yep. may confer, uh, give me the answer, and then we'll find out who goes and has the lead. Excellent. It's nice and clear, nice and easy. Uh, and then, of course, remember, sorry, we've been delaying things for ages. We've got 30 more minutes, and it'll be time for today's Biscuit Review. So do stick around with a very special guest here from the community. Do you, know, do you feel privileged to be the first person from the community to actually be on 
uh, well, first of all, one of these Twitch uh, Edward C. Lewis live streams, mm -hmm. but I think any live stream done from Frontier Developments, yeah, like actually it's... from the office. We had um, we've had streamers on, mm -hmm. like Daz Valdez has come on one, and I think James Turner did one with us as well when he was here. But first, like community member proper yeah. to come on. It's nice. Round of applause everybody for Titus Balls. If you haven't already seen or Tame Piper, sorry, he's rebranding. If you haven't seen <laughs> any of his videos though, um, Wonders of the Galaxy, Google that, Wonders of the Galaxy Elite Dangerous, and you'll find his channel. Some really, really stunning, beautifully made, uh, really nicely edited videos, mm. really lovely use of music. Oh, uh, to be fair, I mean, me just editing the videos together is just part of it. It's actually the, the, the engine and the, the game oh, is just... So Stunning. it must take you a while to put this together because you have to go and find those spots first. Exactly. Or do you do you YouTube? Do you Google? Uh, no, do you so find like lists of places that other people have been to and go? Oh, I'll go and use that in a shop. Uh, a, a couple of times I have, uh, but very rarely. Mostly it's just go out, explore, find. Uh, and yeah, there's a lot of samey stuff out there. But every once in a while, you just find something that looks amazing, and you just have to record it. Mm -hmm. And yeah, and you've got it sort of set up with OBS, which is like boop. It's the kind of game that it, it, it has. It does take it, it take its time to do things. Yeah. So you can just see it and go, oh, that's cool. I'll make sure I record that later. Sort of. Thing. Yeah, there's some stuff, but also uh, doing time lapses and things like that because you kind of have to just leave that running and hope that an hour later you've got something that looks good. So yeah, mm. it can take a while. Well, it usually does look um, good. So round of applause, as we've got a couple of Iron Spark applauds, kind of some more applauds. I'm doing this sort of strange thing where I'm stroking my palm. How do you clap? How Show me your, if, right, okay, no, wait, wait, we'll do it, we'll do it, we'll do it, we'll do a quick test. And WNL, you can do that as well, but make sure you raise your hand so we can all see. Imagine that um, a, you've, your friend has just won an award, how do you clap? <laughs> so it's fingers to palm. No, it's, it's palm to palm. Palm to palm. All right, you've got a, you've just, someone's finally potted a, a shot that it was really easy and they should have got first time, but it's taken them like five shots. Oh, then that's like slapping the hands together. Yeah. Like finger to finger, palm to palm. Yeah, like get the maximum noise out of there. Paul Archer says his fingers to palms for clapping duties. Is this like a child's thing? That's, that's. Michael Gove. Michael. <laughs> or um, <laughs> Nicole Kidman. It's in the, there's an image of Nicole Kidman clapping. She didn't want to knock her nails together because they were really fancy. She's right. just doing that. Uh, hopefully, we'll be able to applaud for us at the end of this quiz. So everybody, have a lovely time. Um, <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Uh, have a lovely time. I'm going to minimize the chat now. Uh, good luck in the in the quiz. Uh, it is currently standing at 65 people versus Tane and I. So we'll see how that goes. But um, have a lovely time. And uh, remember, you're only cheating yourselves if you cheat. And Tane can see how it all works. So you can see that I actually genuinely do this where I close down and goodbye. OK, question number one round in, this, in this round all about ice cream. I'll remind you it was very close last time. Um, the the chat stream beat you nine points to eight. So I think. Today, though, it might be a slightly lower score. We'll see, OK? For both of us, are you saying it's a harder quiz today? Well, yes. OK, question number one. <laughs> Multiple things, OK? I'll give you the correct answer and a couple of wrong ones. You decide which is which, OK? And then, yes, get them down on that. Can you hear all right? Yes, write quickly. Get them on there. Go with your should heart. Write, yeah, should we, should we get, uh, oh. Uh, you got, you've got, like, a random piece of paper down there. Oh, yes. Where did you find that? Down there. Beside this, <laughs> just, just to show people things in the background here. There's, I just look down at the floor and there's <laughs> just on the floor, just scattered around the room. There's just piles of biscuits. We can't see your response. Don't cheat. All right. Okay, we've got it. We've got a pile of paper now. Yeah. Are you ready? Grab a pen as well as well. Next to that pile of biscuits. There. <laughs> Yeah. Chocolate chips from the biscuits, you know. So sort of. feels like, oh, we need a pub quiz name. We've got the chatters. What should we call our pub quiz? Uh, I don't know. Oh, you put me on the spot. So we'll know. think about it throughout. Yeah. Then. As soon as we've got one, we'll, we'll think of it. Okay, here we go. Question number one. I'd like to know what was the best-selling Ben and Jerry's ice cream of 2016? Was it <laughs> peanut butter cup, I guess pretty chocolate nice. fudge brownie, or chocolate chip cookie dough? Say that again. Best-selling Ben and Jerry's ice cream of 2016 was it? Peter, chocolate fudge brownie, 
or chocolate chip cookie dough? Question one. We've decided our, our name. Are you right with the name? Yep. We are the Haggis Burritos. <laughs> the Haggis Burritos. The burritos. <laughs> it doesn't sound too bad. It's good, isn't it? I have their answer. No, that's not what I said. Isn't it? No, I said that was the one. Can you read the? Th can you read? Can you read the three again? I can read the three again. Peanut butter cup. Yeah. Chocolate fudge brownie. Or chocolate chip cookie dough. Oh, do you know what I write? It's because, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. Are you, are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You're going for choc chip cookie dough. You're going for chop. Choc yeah, I can't even say it. Chocolate chip cookie dough. Yeah. Um, originally made in 1984, it uh, <gasps> is chocolate chip cookie dough, yeah. Yeah, boy. Uh, 1984. Oh, that's an ominous year. They were correct as well, so. Right. Question Next question. I actually clap like this. <laughs> it's, it's, it's quite weird, but... Or, 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 yes, okay. Yeah. <laughs> we can clap like a dolphin. The English call it an ice lolly. What do Americans call it? We're talking about um, frozen fruit puree, fruit juice, or flavored sugar water on a stick, or in a flexible plastic sleeve. The English call it an ice lolly. What do Americans call it? <laughs> I've got it. Okay, I have their answer. It's an ice lolly. No, it's not. It's a it's a popsicle. Popsicle is correct. Yes. Ooh. And uh, well, two out of the three consensus. Uh, the stream got it as well, so it's two points apiece. Okay, question number three. <laughs> this is so stupid. Say again. Question number three. Oh. Cream ice, as opposed to ice cream. Cream ice, as it's called has always been something of a royal affair. It appeared regularly at the table of uh, Charles I in England. Henry II of France enjoyed similar frozen desserts with Catherine de' Medici. In which century was it first made generally available to the public? Cream ice. When did it first become generally available to the public? Which century? Talking about uh, a cafe. It came out in a cafe in France and was finally available to the public. What was the century? I mean, you're gonna say, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna. The, the only other thing you could possibly be is, is that, but mm. I, I think I, that's the one I was gonna guess too. It's nice having a teammate. Not yet. Okay, I have their answer. No, we, well, would you like to, to, to guess uh, this one? Possibly the 19th century? 19th century actually consensus the uh, the chat stream also went with the 19th century but it's actually all the way back in the 17th century oh our second guess was 18th so we uh, well wow. cafe it was the first cafe in paris and uh it was in 1660 they they introduced a, a recipe blending milk cream butter and eggs i'm worried that you you cut out there a bit at the start what was the, the name of the cafe Cafe it happened again Cafe Procope, P R C P E. Procope, Procope. Ooh la la, c'est très bon. Okay, question number four. Simple 50 50, it's true or false. Okay, if you're in the chat stream, write down the entire word true or the entire word false. Not both. Uh, depending on your, your opinion. Here we go. The brand name Hagen Doss uh. is Danish for frozen delight. Brand name Hagen Doss translates from Danish as. Frozen delight, true or false? Mm. Mm -hmm. Can mm. you my right answer? Well. This uh, is kind of hard because we can't uh, actually discuss. talk. Dis actually discuss anything. Well, are you gonna, yeah. were you gonna, you no, no, no. I just, I just realised that. Yeah, it's, this is much more difficult than we on can, the chat stream. I can, I can mute it. Yeah, because you can. Be like, oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Uh, by the way, if you, I don't know if you can hear, next door there seems to be some sort of competition going on. Right. Like, can, do, can you hear it? Yeah. Like, whoa! Uh -huh. Like, people like cheering, and uh, I don't think they're watching this stream. Although, maybe they are. Um, all right. So, we've gone for. Are you ready? I'm ready. You've got their answer. 
I've got their answer. We've gone for false. I believe it to be completely meaningless and just a brand name. Um, you're absolutely correct. It is false. Uh, entirely made up phrase. Uh, Ruben Mattis invented the Danish sounding, sounding haagen because Denmark at the time was known for its dairy products. It had a positive image. Uh, there's, there's no umlaut in uh, umlaut A in, in Danish or anything. Yes. How dare they? Uh, uh, have, have I ever talked about um, not not uh, sorry uh, Frankie and Benny's on this stream before? I don't think you have. I think so. It's the same for Frankie and Benny's. Where did guys? Here's a question for you, really quickly. Where do you think the first Frankie and Benny's is was set up? Um, probably um, in England. Yeah, basically, it's mm. it's it's like some town in the east. <laughs> it's uh, it might even it might it's somewhere like. Somewhere like Leicester, but I can't remember exactly where it is. And it was just, yeah, a marketing team came together and went, hmm, Fra so Frankie and Benny don't exist. No. Like, they aren't real people. And I know that sounds mad, like, oh, well, obviously, when you think about it, but I thought it was like a proper New York chain mm. that was originally started with some truth, and then, of course, it became more of a... But no, it's a British chain only, so it doesn't exist anywhere else in the world. And the first one was, and it was just some marketing gets going, oh, this, and that makes, it, oh, I just hate that. It's so cynical, it's so... It is. Uh, just, it, and I actually discovered there's an Angus, Aber uh, Angus Steakhouse in uh, Amsterdam. Oh, uh, and so Angus Aberdeen Steakhouse, they are, uh, is that a similar thing? Like it's, it's, it's not the Scottish same, based. It, it's not Scottish, it's the same ones you get in London, that are mm. just the tourist traps. The tourist like, traps. That one that's on Piccadilly Square, and it's a, they're not great steaks either, are they? No, it's Trump steaks. Are they actually Trump steaks? No, but same oh. kind of thing, just no, crap. So let me tell you a little thing or two about steaks. Mm -hmm. uh, they're the best steaks. They're the only steaks you should need. We're going to build a wall out of steaks. Um, <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Next question. Okay, question number five. This is the worst, the worst. Um, what, what's the word for it? I can't even think of the word for it when you do like it's the worst political satire ever yeah. It's just me saying shouting words that you're gonna make things a wall out of I'm just I really need to up my political satire game, don't I? Sorry everyone. That's not what you come here for. Who needs political satire anyway when we have the Trump administration and Brexit? I mean well that, they're already they're, they're jokes in themselves aren't they? Uh, you can't even go there or get near no, that's true. You mm. you'll get angry. Let's not get let's not get angry. No. We won't like you when you're angry. I will. I'll always like you. You're my dad. Yes, yes, I know, I know. And sometimes right. I believe you. Question number five, halfway through. Okay, uh, it currently stands at three points apiece. Number five, this famous chef has brought us bacon and egg ice cream, not to mention wait roses, marmalade on toast ice cream. He just popped out my head. I've got it. Oh. Name him or her. This famous chef has brought us bacon and egg ice cream, not to mention weight for us to on toast. <laughs> nice. Uh, I have their answer. I'll tell you first, so I'll let him say it. It's Heston Blumenthal. It's Heston Blumenthal, yes. Um, uh, we, I actually had the, 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 the pleasure of going to the Fat Duck. The Fat Duck, yeah. Oh, yeah. A few years ago when it was when it was sort of number one in the world and it had some of that um, bacon and ice cream. But the one that the, the thing that really got me was he served a cup of tea, and it was half hot and half cold, but it wasn't half on the top and the bottom. It was split down the middle, and there was no partition. But it That's was magic. On one side and ice cold on the other. I have no idea how he did it. I that that's like breaking the laws of physics. Mm. That's magic. Oh, no. I'm trying to, I'm trying to think about. Oh, no, no, I'm just trying. Sorry, oh. here. That's magic. Yeah. I'm just trying to think. Yeah, he's just a wizard. He's a food wizard. Yeah. There's no more explanation needed. Food wizard. Yeah, question number seven, six. Question number six question is six. Heston Blumenthal a food wizard? <laughs> Point yes. of peace. Okay, here we go. The first written reference to serving ice cream in cones, according to reliable evidence, appeared in which century? It was in a cookbook. The first written reference to serving ice cream in cones. What century? Well... I mean... Yeah, because... No. no, 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 here, no. Yeah, I get what you're saying, but at the same... One second, I can leave yes. this. I can find the thing there is. Sorry guys, back myself.
I have their answer. Okay. Okay. Um, we will say this together. Yeah. Three, two, one. Nineteenth century. <laughs> the nineteenth century uh, is absolutely correct. Yeah. Yay! Yay! Did it come did it become popular with seaside towns? This is Marshall's cookery book. Uh, it was published in eighteen eighty-eight. That uh, was the first first it's written. Late. That's well, quite late. That was the first written reference, but they had been doing it in in the in the nineteenth century. Yes. Um, that was right about the same time as Jack the Ripper. And Jack the Ripper ice cream cones. Coincidence? I think not. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I think we've cracked it. We've cracked the code. We've cracked and the code. You're one point ahead because the chat stream actually, well, consensus, they had one nineteenth but two eighteenths. So. Oh, ah. I knew you went for eighteenth. I said eighteenth. But, um... So you're ahead for, well, one of the few times actually in the history of this quiz on your live stream. See, you need more team members. We've done it before, but last time we had team members on it was Bo and Steve. <laughs> and... No, I'm not blaming Bo and Steve. I love Bo and Steve, but I... They just let me down. <laughs> no, they didn't. They didn't at all. I just mean sometimes there's too many chefs. Mm. Too many cooks. Yeah. You know? Is that... What is the phrase? Too many cooks or too many chefs? Too many cooks by the broth. Broth. What's your favourite broth? You're a Scottish man. You understand broth. Uh, potato and leek. What is, it, what is it you like about potato and leek? It's just nice. Bit of salt, bit of pepper. Salt and pepper. Which bit one do you bread prefer? with butter on it. Do you, do you prefer salt or pepper? Salt. Salt. <laughs> okay, next question. <laughs> a salty dog. Okay, here we go. Right, it's on to question number seven. You're leaving five more. I would like to know which ancient king of Macedonia, who lived from 356 BC to 323 BC, enjoyed snow and ice flavored with honey and nectar. An ancient king of Macedonia, he lived from 356 hey, no, BC, he enjoyed snow and ice flavored with honey and nectar. Haggis burritos are killing it right now. Mainly the haggis side of the haggis burritos. <laughs> there's still a burrito. Bit of a there's burrito still a bit there. of a burrito. Like, it's staring at me. Uh, the reason why it's basically before the stream started. What are you doing there? People can see you. Just, just be wary. I'm, 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 I'm checking very carefully their answers. You see here to ensure. Well, uh, how getting closer to the screen? Um, why, why? Don't ask. <laughs> are you? Do you need your eyes checking again? No. You've accidentally made the stream smaller again, haven't you? I somehow made the stream. <laughs> Possible to pull on the side of my head. That is entirely. Yeah. Is, is, is very possible for me. Right. I'm, I'm squinting. Does anybody know how to. Do you know how to make the. What? Is it just a web browser? Uh, that when when you know when that question's too complicated. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Is, it, is it just in, in Google or Firefox or just, whatever you're using? Just Google. So it's Google Chrome? Yeah. Uh, can you see it? I can see it. You can just see it. I can just see it. Ah, uh, how many more questions have we got? Only a couple. That's okay. So you can handle no. it. As long as you guys don't mind me squinting in the corner and uh, no, squint away. Okay. Uh, what is your answer? I have their answer. Um, I think it was Alexander, wasn't it? Uh, Alexander the Great. It was. Yes. Yes. Tane Piper! Nicole Kidman will be proud. Yeah. Uh, I got it because of his age, because he died young. He did, yeah. He was about 31 when he died or something? Uh, I, 623, so yeah. yeah. I would have had no idea. Yeah. Well, well done. Big. Do you have like a. a have you got a favourite king? Uh, not King really? Kong. King Kong, yeah. Uh, king. Uh, uh, Burger King, the Burger King. Ah, uh, the Burger King. No, he's a bit creepy. He's a bit creepy, the Burger King. He really is. He's okay. like, stalking around. Uh, king. Larry King? Larry King's... Yeah, he's got a new series, actually. On, he does a web series. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm just full of interesting... Oh, actually, useless facts. The, uh, well, that's good to know. <laughs> Check out Larry King's new web series. Spon this episode sponsored by Larry King's new web series. What's the name of it? Uh, Larry King. Larry King. <laughs> All right. Next question, please, King of the Quiz. Question number eight. Oh, by the way, uh, they, they got it on consensus. They got it as well. So you're oh, still, you're you're one point uh, one point ahead. Uh, although well, their three was Xerxes, and I, and I I think Xerxes is a, is a fantastic king. 
uh, and was just about well, but was a lot further back. Is he is he your favorite king? Xerxes might be my favorite king. Ah, uh, yeah. BB so, king. BB king. Nebuchadnezzar. BB, uh, Nebuchadnezzar wasn't, although Nebuchadnezzar you know, size bottle. If you're talking about champagne, yeah. King size. That's a good one. King size. Yes. Okay. Question number eight. What is the French term for a frozen sweet dessert that is usually made from fruit puree or fruit juices? The French term for frozen sweet dessert usually made from fruit puree or fruit juices. I'm going to squint. Mm. Yeah, it's got, yeah, it's got to be. Yeah, I think so. Squinting. I have an answer. It's got to be sorbet. sorbet. Sorbet is correct, eh? Yes. Okay, yes. Entirely. Sorbet. Yes. You have correctly Sorbet. answered. Um, Unfortunately, I did German at school, so. Ah. Yeah. Ah, uh, die Deutsch. Get us on the Sprachwörter for the Ausländer. My dad's been. That was 20 years ago I did German. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I did. Um, yeah. yeah. Yes. Two years in high school. My, my German teacher, though, was from. Um, she was from Kentucky, Frankfurt, Kentucky. And so we didn't really, our, our accent, we went around, <laughs> escape mere goot y'all, sort of thing. <laughs> <laughs> Is that true? Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> the Kentucky German. It's Kentucky German. Die geht es Yeah, yeah. No. Very good. Okay, uh, question number nine. Penultimate question. You're if we get this right, have we won? There's time, no. there's time to lose. Okay. <sighs> Okay. Thought I'd remind you of that. Ice cream merchants got a lot of flack for selling sinfully rich ice cream concoctions on Sundays. <laughs> In the late 1890s, they created the Sunday. It oh. was actually spelled S U N D A Y, but then changed to S U N D A E. Interesting. They created it by leaving the carbonated water out of what other popular ice cream concoction? Okay. Talking yes. America, America, the 1890s, they created the Sunday to sort of get rid of, well, the idea that they were selling sinfully rich ice cream concoctions. They left the carbonated water out of what other already existing popular ice cream concoction? What could, could it be? Let me, let me squint. Oh, I, don't, I don't, I don't. I don't know. Like I don't. No, it's not that, is it? I don't. Mm. That's really hard. It's a hard question. I'm really disappointed because I thought we were going to get like a full 100. I know we did. We also did get the. Well, Helen and I argued about this for about an hour, and I said I'm putting this question in because it's true, and it's it's an American question, ish. I mean, that's the best answer we've got. Yeah. I just think of what else has like carbonated water in it. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I have their answer. I would have thought that's kind of... Because the carbonated... Ah. Uh, but that would usually be like carbonated drink. Like a fruit juice. Yeah. But maybe it was back and then they mixed it with yeah, something maybe. else. But then what, what else is in that? I don't know. Nothing uh, really. It's just, it's just ice cream, isn't it? Yeah. And... So then, taking that away, making a Sunday. So what? What? What else do we have that's a complicated? Because sun, what's in a Sunday? Do you know what's in a Sunday? Yeah. So Sunday, you put like a cherry at the bottom, and then you put chocolate sauce in, and ice cream, and then you put sprinkles and chocolate sauce on top, and maybe put a cherry bat on the top. That's an ice cream Sunday, yeah. right? Also, Knickerbocker glory. So rem imagine. Well, is that the answer to the question? Knickerbocker glory is the question. Is the answer we're going for? You're going to go for a Knickerbocker glory. Um, carbonated water and a Knickerbocker well, okay. All right, no, wait, oh, ice cream float. float. You're going with an ice cream float? Yeah. The chat stream also went with ice cream float, and you're both incorrect. Oh. Uh, it, it, it's a matter of, well, yeah, a, a, a nicety of making things, but it's actually the ice cream soda. Oh, oh so that's yeah, a yeah, 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 very... Ice cream soda. Well, of course, come yeah. Yes, you put the coke in and you ease the ice cream in on the side with a soda. That's why I thought the ice cream float. That is, that's, ah, yeah, it is. That is, an, that is what we in the UK call an ice cream float. Ah, uh, well, I, I said it was an American question. <laughs> so, well, we both got it wrong, and that's the most yeah. important thing. I actually went online myself to check myself because I worked for Baskin Robbins, you see, for 
quite a few years. Mm -hmm. And I knew how to make the, the two separate things. And I Googled it online and I had other ice cream makers agree with me. So okay. it's uh, so you both you both miss out, it's still it's right. points to six. It's a zero. Zero. So we have to get this one right to win. Six. If we get this right, we guarantee the win. Yeah. If we get it wrong, then we draw. So we've drawn. Yeah. <laughs> you're you're, you're, you're self self satisfied already. Yeah, I'm Come I'm on. already feeling relaxed. <clears throat> okay, now this next one is we're going to finish with a multiple guess again. Okay, so quite simply, I'll give you the correct answer. A couple of wrong ones, you decide which, and get it down. Okay. Annually, the total frozen dairy production in the United States. Yes, that's ice cream, sherbet, and frozen yogurt. Is it? slightly more than 1.6 billion gallons, slightly more than 2.6 billion gallons, or slightly more than 4 billion gallons. Production. Total frozen dairy production in the United States, annually. De total ah. frozen dairy. Is this, a, is this a US billion or a British billion? This and also a gallon, a US gallon or a British gallon. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There's so much going on. Entirely US. Dairy. Okay. In the United that changes nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I like the fact that you want you did want to check that, but I'm afraid it means nothing. Nothing to me. Yes, we have 16 ounces in a. Uh, uh, yeah, but that's. Different. I don't want to say that. That one's that... Okay, so is it slightly more than 1.6 billion? Uh, 2.6 billion. Always tend to go for that one. Billion uh, gallons. Uh, so what have, they, what have the chat has said? Hang on. If we draw, we. Right, right, annoyed. <laughs> okay, I have their answer. What one do you want to go for? Let's do a vote. It's two of us. It's not, it doesn't make any sense, does no. it? Two point six billion. Oh, just over two billion, yeah. Oh, <laughs> just over no two point six billion, isn't it? It's one point six, two point six, oh, or two point six, four, four billion. 2.6. You're going with 2.6. Yeah. Okay, well, they actually had one 2.6, but then had two 4 billions as well. So, by consensus, they've got a 4 billion, you've got a 2.6. It's actually a paltry 1.6 billion. So, you're both wrong. But we win. We win! That's the ice cream tune. High fives. Don't miss it. Can't Ooh. miss it on a screen. No. Because if we miss that, that's the type of thing that people create memes out of. Yeah, it is really. So the fact that we got that is God, good. good. Or we could yeah. we could we could miss. I, I forgot purpose. about this when you you said come on here. That people can take clips of this. Oh don't my take bright red don't, face. Don't take any clips of Tane's lovely face. Uh, if you want to comment about Tane's lovely face, do so. I'm thrilled. <laughs> the Haggis Burritos uh, will live on forever. Hi, hi chat, how are you? Hi Commander Kitty, hi Commander Benkai, hi Frank Minor 2849 and everyone here on it you uh, and Jack Dane and all you lovely people. Uh, they are really Titus lovely people. is now banned from chat for helping Edwin. <laughs> they are really lovely people, except for XOG, obviously. What, what? Yeah, for yeah. saying that, yeah, particularly. No. Yeah. Well done, we... Ed's team. Yeah. Hey, what about me? What about me? Congrats, Titus. I tried as well. I, we both did very well. Everyone did really, really well. And everyone wants to go and get an ice cream soda now. So everyone should do that. And on that yeah. note, before we leave, before, well, we're not leaving. We're going to come back and we're going to go get our cups of teas and come back for the biscuit review starting in a minute or so's time. Um, but before we go, we need to pick next week's quiz subject. So everyone in the chat, what do, what do you think this should be a quiz on? I should have really prepared for this. It's all right, don't worry. <laughs> um, I spurred it on you to you ten, like uh, ten minutes before we started. As, as something close to me, something about Amsterdam and the history of... Some interesting things about the history of Amsterdam. Oh, he's gone silent. Why have you gone silent? I'm writing. <laughs> he he it yeah. did look like he was talking, mm. didn't he? It's just because there is actually some interesting things I've been reading, but I won't spoil it, obviously. Mm. Orange Sparks says he's up for that. Puppets says Jack Dean. Oh, we puppets. did one on the Muppets already. We did one on the Muppets already, didn't we? We did one on the Muppets, yes. Yeah. Uh, will Tane be on our side for that one? Yes, I will be back. I will be back to normal service as of 
It seems like an unfair disadvantage yeah, on, next week, on, yeah. on my side of things. Famous floods, drugs and windmills. Oh, I see. That, uh, <laughs> someone else written windmills. Windmills. Which I, I think that guy means windmills, but I like windmills. Mm. I like the idea that it's like a really windy I, mall. It, this is a really random out there fact, but it, in the Netherlands, they have the biggest malls I've ever seen just dedicated to stuff for the house, mm. only for the house. Lovely. You can, li I can you walk in. There's literally 60, 70 stores, just stuff for the house. House. And they have these everywhere in the Netherlands. Mm. Yeah. This is it just one of these random facts? That I've is it good? Did you, have you, did you spend much time in there? Or? Uh, yeah. Obviously decorating the new place and everything. Decorating the new place. But, okay. Yeah. How is it living in a windmill? <laughs> How many cars and clogs do you own? Uh, none. No clogs. No. Let's make. Let's rectify that, people. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Don't do that at all. All right. I, I, it's kind of, are we doing a sort of a, an Amsterdam round or maybe a, a Dutch round or what, what's what's going on, WNL? What do you think? Well, yeah, if, if I can be nice and sort of eclectic and pick and choose, maybe Netherlands in, in, in total sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, like, okay. Yeah, Friesland and very all good. That kind of stuff. Uh, big Fun Arts suggested British Castles from 1066 to 1745, which is very... Um, <laughs> very specific. HP Lovecraft, uh, we've got... Uh, yeah, we can get, I can get... Am I allowed to have Bo? If you're allowed to have Tame Piper, I'm having Bo on if it's about the Netherlands on my team. That sounds good to me. Someone said the fiction of Elrond Hubbard, which is interesting. Uh, yeah. All right, so before you leave, and thank you everybody, huge round of applause. Nicole Kidman style round of applause for WNL for coming along today and thank you again for coming. Same time next week? Same time next week, excellent. Same time next week and do you, have you brought any literature to tell I, us about today? I actually did bring a book down and I'm still in the process of alphabetizing everything and getting it in there. I, I will be up there very soon. That's but okay. I brought a book down um, called book of the day. Uh, In Praise of Idleness. Okay. Oh, that sounds perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, for Bertrand Russell, if you can't read that on the little screen. Bertrand Russell, yeah. What's it about? Um, all sorts of essays. And can't be bothered. The best one is, of course, in praise of idleness. Uh, um, it has things on uh, why why the youthful are cynical, um, all kind of useless knowledge, sort of like you know this quiz, um, the ancestry of fascism, all sorts. I actually read. Um, there's another good book by Bertrand Russell called The ABC of Relativity. If, if you've always been flummoxed by Einstein, read that because it puts it in sort of, well, lay terms to the point where you can actually understand what's going on with relativity physics. I need them, I need them in, in um, tweet length bullet points. That's mm -hmm. what I need. Well, so I can, it's the only literature I consume. It's, that's not true. I'm, big, I'm a big fan of reading. I think he wrote this, in, this collection of essays in about the 1930s. Yeah. Uh, but they're, they're interesting. I think Twitter had only been out for a couple of months, but then. Yeah. Um, all right, everybody. Um, uh, thank you for being wonderful. Uh, and thank you, WNL, for being wonderful. It's 10 minutes to, or roughly 10 minutes to, so I need to go and get the cups of tea for the, the biscuit review. So we'll go to the starting soon screen, but we will be back. So do stick around if you want time for the, uh, if you want to, to watch uh, with, with our guest, uh, uh, do a biscuit review. But um, I will see you, oh wait, I'll, I'll, my arm isn't in the shot, so I have to sort of lean in a little bit, but we'll. And then, thank, thank you, uh, um, see, see you later. See you later. And then turn the audio off. Um, there you go. Goodbye. Thank you. Thanks very much. <laughs> and um, perfect. No, All right. <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> right. So uh, yeah, we'll be back in one second. So do give us just a moment, and uh, we'll be back for today's biscuit review. And uh, we need to get a little mini remote, don't I? We need yeah. To get a little remote. That might be fun to forget. Bring a remote with me, an old remote or something. You're absolutely correct. Let's upgrade the TV next time to an HD 4K screen or something like that. All right, back in a sec. <laughs>
Oh, it's 1353 on Friday, 28th of July, and well, maybe, maybe, maybe Tane can tell us what time that means. It's time. It's time for the biscuit review. Yay! Yay! With me, your host Edwin C. Lewis, but also the wonderful Tane Piper. Hello, hi. Hello, how's it going? I'm good. Hi, hi yes. there. Just for people who have joined and don't know who I am, I am um, co Commander Titus Balls in game, but. Uh, if you yeah. have just joined, where have you been? And if you haven't just joined, hi again. <laughs> <laughs> Date That's... with time zone objects. Please deliver a quick chess session down web team room. Uh, okay. I, mm -hmm. I think the web team are pretty busy today, but yeah. yeah. Nah. Uh, all right, well, what happened? Must have been a time zone switch thing. But yeah, I probably. Don't. All right. It's I nearly swore there. I was going to say something. <laughs> Don't worry. Damn time zones. Yes. Damn time zones. Damn time zones. Damn them. All right, let's get a... Uh, okay, so we've got the biscuits ready. We've got a cup of tea. Mm -hmm. There's one thing missing. Uh, and I think it's in here somewhere. Somewhere. I don't know why. What could it possibly be that we're missing? What is that? What? What is that? Th this what? thing here. That thing. That wow. Wait, I'll tell you what it is. Wow. As soon as I can find it <laughs> <laughs> on my screen. <laughs> Wait. It's here somewhere. Wait. Here. Wait. I think it's in here. This. There. Here it is. Wait. Can you see it on the horizon? It's <laughs> here. It there, is. We <laughs> there it is. What is that? Oh, there it is. It's the biscuit review tasting spreadsheet. Of course, along the top we have the name, the appearance, the taste, the texture, the durability, the junkability, the personal taste, the satisfaction, the moistness, and then a total. All the way at the top we have the poppy seed marzipan biscuits by Sarah Homemade, the white chocolate caramel cookies in second place, the Maribu chocolate moments disqualified because they're a chocolate bar. In fourth place, the Fortnum Mason strawberries and cream afternoon tea biscuit, Ed's choice. But we do have also Jeff's chocolate butterscotch chip pecan cookies. They are probably my favourite biscuit we reviewed, they just didn't work with the science for some reason, I don't know. All right, right at the bottom of the Marinol Calitas, this is the biscuit number 155. Well. Wow. That is a lot of biscuits. So you went into, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> so you went into um, a supermarket on the way over before the, uh, before coming over here? Yeah, I mean, I wanted to bring something and um, obviously strip waffles mm -hmm. is, are not a biscuit. No, and I'm so going to hand this allowed. to you. Yeah. and you're going to give like pretend that you've yeah. brought it. And then, which you had brought. You well, I have brought it. And what then have I you brought? and then I saw these, and I thought I wouldn't Ooh. mind trying these. Ooh, okay. That's very shiny. The Nutella Be Ready. The Nutella Be Ready. Let's, let's have a look at those bigger as well. Times eight Nutella Be Readies. They kind of look kind of chocolate barish, but. And they kind of look a bit wafery. I looked at, uh, it's a wafer, and to me, a wafer is a biscuit. It's a controversial and, and one. You, and you said, yeah, you said you wanted to bring something that's slightly con controversial. controversial. Nutella Ferrero Be Ready. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to go Nutella Ferrero Be Ready. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I mean, looking at these two words already, I'm excited. I mean, I think they might be the best thing that we've ever reviewed. That's the, my problem is, is it a biscuit? And we will let the the viewers decide, or I will decide on a whim right at the very end. I don't think they'll dunk very well. Absolutely not. Both got our cups of tea, by the way. Look, they have their individual packaging. They are very dangerously close to being a chocolate this, bar. This is true. Possibly. Anyway, no points of packaging. Uh. But if they did have points of packaging, oh, the Nutella be ready would do very, very well. Is it not a cake? No iso kicks, it is not a cake. But it is maybe not a biscuit. It's kind of, well, although it's kind of, look at it. It's weird, it's like a little, oh. You can't really see it, which is, it's, which is disappointing, isn't it? Uh, let's, it has some green screen problems. Let's do a, let's get rid of the filter for a second. Uh, which is not the easiest way to do it, but. Um, can you see that, everybody? Can everyone see that? Yeah, oh no, it's, it's gone out of focus again. Um, yeah, we've got a, a narrow depth of focus on it. Um, is that biscuit? I don't know. What do it's you call a, that? Well, see, a, a, would you call a pink wafer a biscuit? No. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> it's doomed. 
<laughs> it's doomed from the beginning. It's doomed. Well, I, you know what? I saw the words Nutella and Ferrero and I thought... Look, we, it doesn't mean we can't enjoy ourselves. Yeah, exactly. Let's, let's still enjoy ourselves. Yeah. All right, let's go back on. Let's get. Let's add the effect back on. Just to not get rid of the... There you go. We're back in. We're back here. It's all right. Sorry, Sorry guys. I must admit. No, don't worry. You don't. It's literally. I don't, you're like. I don't care. I just wanted to taste it. No, no. <laughs> that's true. But I must admit, looking at it, I would. Mm. It looks. It's pretty beige. It's beige, isn't it? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, well, yeah. It didn't used to be beige, did no. it? No. Um, um, I'd. Say, I'm gonna give it. A but you know what? I wish you'd stop going on about it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a joke. 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 Mm. All right, everyone. Appearance out of ten, uh, five and a half. It's crap in it. <laughs> it's five point <laughs> five is a good shout. Maybe six. Six. Okay, six. Uh, taste. Mm. No points for packaging. Mmm. It's pretty good. Yeah. It tastes really nice. The texture, I'm surprised, I don't like. But we'll talk about that in a second. Mm. It's Nutella. Mm. It's Ferrero Rocher inspired. It tastes like a Ferrero Rocher. Yeah. Essentially. Um, but so I'd give it like I'd give it an eight point four out of ten for the taste. That's that's good. Yeah, you happy with that? You I'm happy with that. To, you seem to like it even more than that. Though. No, I think that's, uh, that seems reasonable. Texture. I don't like it. I felt like the wafer was really weirdly dry, mm. and it was like I'm going to give it, expecting I, I, much more of a crunch. You know, I'm actually it. going to give it a three for texture. A three for texture. Three I quite, for texture. Well, I like the I like the, the the soft inner thing, but oh yeah, once you get inside the biscuit, the wafer. Mm. No, 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 no. It's. The wafer's like almost too thin. It's very hollow. Mm. It's good. Like I like it, but I find it very disconcerting. Like not as what not as not what I wanted. Mm. You going for a three? I'm gonna be slightly less harsh. I'm going for a four. Okay. I mean, it's not bad. It's not like Marinella, Marinella Canalitas tastes like a, mm -hmm. a piece of cardboard that you're chewing on. Durability. Some crumbs. Yeah, some crumbs, but not not too mm -hmm. many. So you're probably gonna get a seven. Dunkability. This is the real test. All right. Well, you're gonna hold it for the camera so everyone see. Uh, and one, yeah, two, two, three. One, two, three, and reveal. Yeah. Hold <laughs> up on its side like that. Yeah. Yeah. And then back in for one, two, three for a double. It's going. It's going. It's like it's not. Oh, oh no no oh, no! Oh 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 oh! oh, oh, oh. Yep. It's, <laughs> it might be a triple dunker though. Okay, try it. One, one two, two, three. three. And oh, hey, it's lasting. It's lasting. No dunk, no, no. no it looks, like looks disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh my god. Oh. <laughs> 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 These are not tea biscuits. No. You know, you know when you add. <laughs> you know when you've got like, I don't know, like a folder or like a book. Mm -hmm. And it gets soaked like in your bag, and you pull it out, and you're like, oh no, that tastes how that feels when you pull that book out. That's yeah. how that tastes. Yeah. But like you look at it and you go, ah, oh, it's all like soggy. That's how that tasted. This is really not for dunking. Flemmy. That's a wrapped in, yes. It, it survived it, but you could see that it, it's the structure weakened. Oh yeah. So it's not going to get like a high score. It's a seven, it's fine. Mm, okay. The person tastes weird. <laughs> I think it's like worse. Five? It was awful. It was, it was. It was like like licking a soggy book. <laughs> a taste sensation. I was really not that satisfied by that. No, no. you seem disappointed by it. You, yeah. you, you were so keen when you brought these in. Oh well, come like, on! These I mean, going to be great. It, it, you look at that and it's just like that's two the best, not. two of the best. Nutella, Ferrero, and be ready. Mm. <laughs> Three of my favourite things in the world. Satisfaction. Yeah. Six. Okay. Moorishness. I'd have another one. This would been dunk it. Six. I would less so. I did have a burrito just before beginning there. All right. Total time. 
47.8. And also, well, what's fine, I'll tell you in a second. Forty-seven point eight. Where is it? Ah, very good. Yeah, very good. Yeah. But then the question is: Is he? Should he even be in this list? I was just about to say. Disqualified for being a wafer type item. Uh, I'm, I'm afraid it's not quite right. Being a wafer type thing. I'm afraid not. I'm afraid. I, I did like it. I did enjoy it. I enjoyed your company. Thank you. I enjoyed it as a, just a wafer type thing. But it is a wafer type thing. And that's... That's all I can say about that. Uh, but you, it's not, you haven't disappointed me. Mm -hmm. you, you're all right. Thank um, you. I just kind of wish that you'd brought something back. I so do I. <laughs> I'm joking, I told you not to. I specifically said don't. I've got a backlog of biscuits. But I've got those biscuits covering the floor around oh, here. Oh, by the time you'd sent that, I'd kind of already grabbed it from the shop. Oh, oh God, oh no. No, I'm joking. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you. I'm going to leave them downstairs along with the... You've brought some street waffles as well over for the yes. team. I'm going to leave those upstairs. I'm going to send an email around to all saying street waffles in the kitchen for you for afternoon teas. Um, and have a lovely time. Yeah, and mm -hmm. thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Really, it's been really a pleasure to be on. the first community. Yeah, first on, community yeah. guest to come here on. Uh, really, really appreciate it. Uh, was there a special 450? There wasn't, Ushiny, unfortunately not. Well, I'll put the LA music up a little bit louder so you can hear it properly. And I will say thank you to everybody who's come along um, to say hi this week. So thank you, first of all, to Titus Balls. Cheers. Cheers, thank you. Thank you very much. It's all right, don't worry. Tea everywhere. Thank you to Adamantium13, Almost Different, Aprique, Araya, Boss Dog, Bad Cat Will and Big Fun Art, Black Ryan Zero, Bubble Map Gaming Live, Commander Benkai, not pre recorded. Commander Canoodles, Commander Captain Noodles, Commander, Commander Elsnar, Final Fantasy XI. <laughs> I've never said that before, I just imagine that's what it means. Uh, he's, he probably signed up for a Final Fantasy account. Commander, ooh, shiny. Commander Pyrojo, Commander Silmar, so many commanders. Commander Wilkie, Commander Jorlin, Commander Kitty, Commander Nade, Commander Co Brian. No, no, just Co Brian. Corporal Coca Cola. Oh, we've got a corporal a in corporal. here. Finally, some somebody of rank. No, wait, commanders are higher than corporals, aren't they? Yeah. Um, um, a dir somebody we can finally relate to, being being the bottom running yep. guys that we are. Uh, Dirgel, Dragon Darko, Doctor Send TV, Dred Dred Dresden TV, Dresden TV, Dresden TV, Dresden TV, E Free TM, Fagrant, like fragrant but fragrant. Uh, Freckly Femme, Grim Daka 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 Daka, Holy Cats 3, I Fly and X-Wing, Ice of Kicks, Jack Din, Jack Little, Jorius, Chester D, JJ Smashing Pumpkins, JSB3213, Mad Splat, Millstone Bond, thank you so much, Musga, thank you, Nami Dark, thank you, Ori Spark, thank you, Paul Archer, thank you, Bobby Plexed, Poi Poi Plexed, Poi Plexed, I'm Poi Plexed, that's it, oh, I'm Poi Plexed, Poi Plexed, I am in, I'm walking here, I'm Poi Plexed by this, uh, Red Gremlins, Sarah, uh, uh, <laughs> Shan, Airy, Rhinale, Stephen Carey, Subsonic, Tamuin, Uberdodo, Unky Steve, Vanderveer, Wackaday, Warhead 79, XG47, Yarders. Thank you all for being here. And thank you for being wonderful and excellent. And uh, have a lovely weekend. And I'll be back streaming some Elite Dangerous on Monday at twitch.tv forward slash Frontier Developments. And then, of course, we'll be back next week for the Biz Quiz. Thank you again, Tim. Thank you. One last handshake. Yes. Manly. Squeeze. Manly. Mm. We'll do like a we, uh, hold on to your hand oh, for ages. Scott Manly. Like, uh, ah, Scott Manly. Like a Scott <laughs> Manly handshake. But you don't, you don't need to do an impression. You're Scottish. <laughs> you just talk, and that's already an impression of Scott Manly. See you in a bit. Bye. <laughs>